Hello, my name is Stephen Hendry and I'm the Royal Society of Chemistry Education Coordinator for the West of Scotland. In this session, I'm going to talk about the educational support that the Royal Society of Chemistry offers secondary chemistry teachers. The Royal Society of Chemistry has two main objectives that are split into four subcategories for advancing the chemical sciences. On the left hand side, we're looking at delivering high quality chemistry teaching in the classroom. And on the right hand side, we're looking at creating a supportive and effective department within your school. Anyone who works at secondary school, college or teacher training provider in the UK or Ireland can sign up to a free Teach Chemistry account. Its support is all linked to the themes in these two areas. On our Education and Chemistry website, you can see that we've got over 6,000 Teach Chemistry members registered at over 3,000 schools across the UK and Ireland. On average, 48% of our members use the website at least once a month, and in the past year we've had 40,000 registered users, 4.8 million unique page views, and over half a million resource downloads. To register for a Teach Chemistry account, you can follow the link at the bottom of the page, and that will take you to this registration page here. The registration will take a maximum of five minutes to complete. To join Teach Chemistry, make sure that you click this button here. When asked for a school, please enter the school that you're currently teaching at or the university provider that you're training at. If you cannot find your school or provider, please get in touch with myself or your ITE tutor for the name of your account. Once you have completed your registration, the lead contract at your school or the ITE tutor will then be sent an email to validate your account. On our Education and Chemistry website, you can search and download all of our free teaching resources. You can search for resources by topic using the search bar here. You can look at our Education and Chemistry magazine that is written by Teachers for Teachers, and it keeps you up to date with the most recent and popular chemistry classroom articles. You can search for everything else on our website by using the top right hand search bar. To look at the support available for secondary teachers, you can go to the bar at the top there and you can click on IMR and then go down to secondary teacher. This will take us to our home page and it highlights all of the support that Royal Society of Chemistry offers for secondary teachers. To look at the resources that we have available, you can click on the resources and you'll be able to see the collections that we have available. So our resources are grouped under these specific headings. Or you can search for all of the secondary resources that we have available by clicking on the secondary button here. This will take us to this page here. And as you can see at the bottom, you've got the highlights and featured collections. And these are our most popular secondary teaching resources. To browse all of the secondary resources, you can click on the button here. And it will take you to this page. As you can see, we've got over 1,000 teaching resources for secondary chemistry. You can filter down the left hand side by specification, by type, by resources, by category, by level, by use, by day or by rating. All of our resources are easily accessible and low hazard specifically for secondary teaching. The resources come with teacher notes and how to use these resources in your classroom. You can also search for the resources using the Curriculum Explorer. In order for you to get access to the Curriculum Explorer, however, you'll have to be registered via a Teach Chemistry account. You can select the area that you're teaching in, the level that you're teaching at, and the curriculum that you're teaching at. And this brings up all of the learning objectives for the Scottish Higher Curriculum. If we go into more detail, we could look into the chemical changes, we can look at the periodic table, and we can look at the elements arranged in the periodic table in order of increasing atomic number. And at the bottom, you can click on view resources, and this will bring up all of the resources linked to that objective. Our resources have been linked to the Scottish curriculum, and they have been risk assessed by both CLEPS and CERC. You can also access our Education in Chemistry magazine. Our Education in Chemistry magazine is a print and an online magazine covering all areas of chemistry education. 
mainly concentrating on the teaching of chemistry in secondary schools and universities. By clicking on the Education and Chemistry button at the top, it will take you to our Education and Chemistry microsite. This is written by teachers for teachers, and we've got a range of articles looking at ideas to support your teaching practice in the classroom, looking at the news, views and perspectives on teaching, and looking at the science, so looking at the cutting edge research and in-depth chemistry features. We also have articles to support trainee teachers for 10 ways to win as a trainee teacher, trainee teacher opinion pieces, ideas and tips for getting by in your first year. And we also have a Q&A section where you can ask classroom questions to our expert panel. We also have our collections within our Education and Chemistry microsite. And in here, we have our simple rules. The Education and Chemistry magazine has produced their seven simple rules for science teaching. The articles and resources are there to support each of the seven rules and the effective evidence-based principles of the Education Endowment Foundation Improving Secondary Science Report. And you can find the link at the bottom of the page if you want to find out more. You can register for a free account with your school or your work email address. If you're unregistered, you have access to two resources a month or one education in chemistry article a month. However, if you register via Teach Chemistry account, as you can see, you get more access to different opportunities within the website. You're also able to bookmark resources, and this means that you can find resources in the articles year after year. So you might not be teaching a specific topic, but you quite like the look of one of the resources and you can bookmark it and save it for later. Once you register for Teach Chemistry account, you should have this account in your profile. At the top right hand corner, you can see you'll have contact details of your local education coordinator. So it'll be myself and Laura Alexandra, who covers the north and east of Scotland. You're also able to sign up for uh, Education and Chemistry magazine, view the newsletters and see upcoming events in your region. Contact details can be found there. As I say, you can sign up here, you can search through the events and you can keep up to date with our latest newsletters. We also have professional development courses, and these are free for all ITE students and at a discount for current Teach Chemistry members. In here, we have a range of different courses, both online and live teaching. And they cover a range of different topics for supporting chemistry education. We also have our Chemistry World magazine. The Chemistry World magazine is a monthly chemistry news magazine, and this addresses the current events in the world of chemistry, including research, international business news, and government policy as it affects the chemical science community. You also find the best product applications, and this could be used to inspire your students with examples of exciting cutting edge research being applied to our everyday life. Our award-winning Making the Difference campaign has been developed to engage today's teenagers, and you can find this on our Future in Chemistry website. This campaign focuses on a generation who are highly motivated by the issues facing the world and are more determined than ever to impact on them. We know that this generation are ambitious for a career that is driven by a cause, wanting to make a difference to the world in which they live, both locally and globally. Through this new campaign, we are shown that studying chemistry can lead to just such a career, whether that means tackling climate change, improving technology, or contributing to medical advances. In this website, we also have our employability skills, what jobs can you do, information about what students can expect to earn in the chemical sciences, and options for the students when choosing their choices. 
Our job profiles on our website are linked to the curriculum across the UK and Ireland. And we also have career presentations, interactive games, career activities, and where chemistry can lead you outside the lab. We also have a platform for parents, teachers, and career advisors to use. We have also released our Chemistry Accessible for All report. We believe that every child should have access to high quality chemistry education, and yet there are barriers preventing many from participating. Our five-year Chemistry for All outreach study has shown that targeting students from less advantaged backgrounds can draw them into the chemistry pipeline and strengthen their identification with chemistry. In our summary report, we include the calls to action for the people and organisations who have the power to make chemistry more accessible for all. We also have a summary from an outreach provider's point of view and also from a school and teacher's point of view. And in particular, how can you get the most out of effective outreach at your school? I would like to leave you with this concluding thought. This is the Veracity Index of 2019 and it groups all of the professions in terms of their trustworthiness. As you can see, in fourth and seventh place is teachers and scientists, with 84% for scientists and 89% trustworthiness for teachers. This shows the importance of teachers and scientists for inspiring the next generation. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. And you can find all of our contact details here for the Scottish region if you have any questions that you want to follow up with. Our email addresses are attached to the presentation and you can also find our Twitter accounts if you want to follow us on Twitter. Inspiring your teaching and learning.